Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are we all this morning? All right. morning good morning Carrie Ann how are you honey alrighty so I'm gonna do a scrapbook page this morning as part of uh, the great Australian craft show and I just thought I would just whip up a little scrapbook page show you some um, fun little techniques and bits and pieces and show you oh good morning Rosie um, ha, yeah Jess has got her driver's license I haven't lost my helper at all in fact it's been fantastic because I don't have to stop what I'm doing now to do a post office run in the middle of the day because Jessica can go and do it um, so yes it's um, has had, had its advantages so um, for those of you who don't know what is happening and just tuning in for the first time, uh, as part of the Great Australian Craft Show this weekend, I am doing two live Facebooks a day and uh, one morning, one afternoon and going through some fun and easy techniques and I'm also um, got some good specials on. So today's special is all about acrylic paint, Dina Wakeley paints and Dilusions paints are 15% off until I go to bed or until I sell out, whichever comes first. So I'm going to, uh, yeah, there's some good specials there. Um, Lindy's products are 15% off. Paper collections are 15% off. There's lots and lots of bargains available. So I'm going to make a start because I've got a bit to get through this morning. Um, and... I just thought I'd show you in my hand here some embossing powder techniques that I did yesterday in my live Facebook and you can actually go back and flick up and have a bit of a look through my Facebook and you can see yesterday's videos and the ones from Thursday as well. Um, look at that little guy. Isn't that gorgeous? Can you see how amazing that is? So that's using the Lindy's embossing powders. So very, very fun. All right. Um, so what I want to do today is I want to create a scrapbook layout using the new Lindy's Flat Magicals. Um, I'm going to, it's a bit of a process and I've got a bit of an idea in mind. It's based on a similar sort of project I created quite a few years ago, but I want to show you guys how fun and easy it is. Um, so the new Lindy's Magicals are these guys here, the flat magical. So this is the Mountain Meadows set and I am absolutely blown away by how awesome this collection is. Uh, I'm going to, sorry, I know I've got that big circle glare here, but I don't want to get stuff all over my, my cardstock. Um, so the Mountain Meadows are flat magicals, meaning they have no shimmer. So I'm going to make up a wash of each of the colors in here. So these are usually $30 for a set of five. They are reduced down to about 25 something. So to open them up, because that lid just doesn't pop off, I get my scissors or my craft knife and just pop the top off. Fantastic for storage. So we've got five colors here and they are just gorgeous and vibrant and to make them up because they are so super pigmented I use my craft knife as a scoop so this is the evergreen emerald 
Um, I can't stress enough how awesome these colors are um, and how pigmented they are. Because they are a pigment dye-based powder, what that means is the pigment means it's full of color. The dye means that it is permanent. So it, it essentially stains the, the surface it's being put on. Um, and the powder means that you need to activate it. So the pigment is, is fantastic because what it really means is that you can, you have full control over the color that you want to put on your page. And that's what I want to show you with this page that I'm about to do. That color is called Stormy Sky and it is amazing. And then I've got these two gorgeous pinks. So this one here is the Wild Rose Rouge, which is quite a mouthful, I suspect, after a glass of wine or three. Um, now, for those who are watching for the first time or you're watching on your device, if you can't see what is going on from here to here, just swipe the comments across and they will disappear. Uh, so then you don't have to see everybody else's chatter and whatnot and you can just watch the techniques i will be uploading all of these to youtube possibly tonight i meant to do it last night but then i had a glass of wine and then it got too hard and you know life um so all right so what i'm going to do now is i've got a really small amount in here you can see how much i've got so i've got a little water here um nothing fancy just <laughs> adelaide water and I'm going to activate that with a pipette of water. Just like that. Beautiful. So I'm putting it in slowly so that it doesn't spurt everywhere because that's a thing. Um, but what is really important is that this is a dye. So if you accidentally tip it on the carpet lean over the table and dip your boobs in it, something like that, it is going to go everywhere. So you do need to be aware that you have to be a little careful with it. So before I start any project, whoops, sorry, hit the camera, I need to swatch the colours. So I need to make sure that I know exactly what I have here in front of me. So I'm going to start with this pink and I'm giving it a little stir in my palette just to make sure that it is all activated. All of those pigments need to come together. And that's what the colour is that I'm looking at. So Lindy's have been around for a really, really long time. They are not a new company. Lindy's Gang, as most of you know, because I waffle on about it all the time, are a family business based in Washington. All of their products are made at home in their garage and packaged at home in their garage it is a family business just like mine and I love that I think that that is so important so they're not products that are manufactured in China and then repackaged and bulk made and blah 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 they are especially formulated so that the colors are the same all the way through the designers who design these colors are also real people. So this particular collection has been designed by um, Aga from AB Studios. So she is one of our educators, um, designers for Lindy's Gang, and this is exactly what she wanted to create. So she got together with the staff at Lindy's, Tracy and the team, and designed this set. Oh, look at that. So now I know exactly what my colours are going to look like before I start my project. So this is a really important step. Even though I know what they look like, and I've done this a million times, what happens in here is every time I make it up, the different I put in a different amount of powder or I put in a different amount of water, so the colour, can, the colour depth is going to be slightly different. So I'm just going to pop that up there to dry off screen. Alrighty, and I'll get rid of those. Hands, okay, so I've got it on my fingers. 
What's going to happen is uh, throughout the day it'll wear off, but it is a stain, so it has stained my hands. Okay, so I'm going to do a 12 by 12 scrapbook, scrapbook layout. And what I want to do is I've just got some plain white Kazer card. This is a thin-ish sort of cardstock. It is not super thick. Um, it is not super great quality, but it is a lovely smooth and it is not watercolour um, paper either. So that's important thing to note. But what I want to do here um, is I want to get the colour onto my cardstock. So I'm using a wide paintbrush and I'm going to start with the green and I've got my brush in here and I'm going to get it on. Get it on, on like Donkey Kong. So I'm going to just straighten here. Because I'm working with flat cardstock, I need to work quickly. I need to work quickly because I want it to, I don't want any or too many drying lines. Big long strokes like this is what I'm after. So the next colour that I'm going to put down is going to be that green. And I reckon I'm probably, there we go. So you can see that the colour is blending nicely into that green. I'm going right edge to edge and I'm layering a little over the top of this green here so I get a little bit of a blend through. Yeah, I like that. A little bit more depth there. And now I'm going to do the same thing and I totally just drop some in my pink. Damn. I need to be a bit more careful and actually watch what I'm doing. Um, now I'm going to be using that beautiful stormy blue. And I'm just going to turn it around. So if I was doing this with watercolour paper, then it would, so, it would sit on top of the paper and have a little bit more movement. But because I am using a flat cardstock that is more absorbent, then I have to actually move a little quicker. So if I let it sit and go off and make a coffee and come back, then it's going to dry and soak right in and leave me with brush marks. And I don't particularly want too many brush marks. I'm after some really lovely big long strokes, just like that. So I'm actually going to cut all of these up in a minute. Beautiful. All right, so I'm just going to pop that aside and then I'm going to repeat the process on another piece of white because I don't think I have done enough. And I'd rather do too many than too little. So what do I want to do? This green. Start with that one again. And just repeat. So uh, I mentioned in a couple of my videos yesterday that you can make these shimmery like a lot of the Lindy's products are just by adding some of the new glitzy colours, some of the new glitzy magicals as well. So because these are flat, they have, like I said, no shimmer but I can just add a little powder over the top to make them shimmery, which is amazing. Or I can make a mess of this. Or I can add um, a single little pot here called Gleaming Gold and make that, um, give it a bit of a shimmer. So when that happens, it will look like this here. So you can see the shimmer that's sitting on top of those colours. That's what the gleaming gold does over the top of this. Alrighty. Oops. I'm making a hot mess of this this morning. I think I need more coffee, perhaps. All right, so it's just big, long strokes getting those on. My paintbrush here is about one and a half centimetres in width so it's a nice big fat juicy paintbrush that is holding lots of color 
and lots of liquid and that is something that's making this process work quite well so I'm just going to pop that one aside to dry over there and then I'm going to use the two pink colors now and repeat Now, I think I accidentally mixed some blue in with this, so my colour might be a little compromised, but let's give it a whirl. How bad can it go, right? Oh, there we go. Now we're all right. Look how beautiful that is. That's so pretty. So how's everybody's Saturday morning going? It is very gloomy and dull here in Adelaide. Um, there is a massive big front coming through. The sky out there is super black. Um, absolutely. <laughs> Looks like the apocalypse is coming, I can tell you. Um, so hopefully my Wi-Fi plays ball and allows me to keep filming and I don't lose it today all right so instead of doing um two sheets of colors this time i'm just going to do like half and half because like i said i am going to cut these up so so that color was the wild rose rouge and now i'm going to be using the foxglove fuchsia oh morning bernie yeah i know right Pouring rain in Nelson Bay and hubby has gone sailing. Yeah, wow. No, none of that sounds like fun. Oh, no. Well, Trevor just mentioned he was um, thinking about going fishing tomorrow. So I'm like, yeah, no, you can have that, mate. I'm not interested at all. Zero interest in going fishing. Um him and Jessica are supposed to be racing today, but racing has been called off due to the incoming apocalypse. Um, so it is looking a little boring. So Jess will be out here packing some orders after she's finished her homework and um, getting all of that. Look at that color. God, that's good. Let's just give that whole page a bit more love. So, um, like I just mentioned before, with the with the magicals, you've got the advantage of making them as dense as you like, um, as heavy as you like. I can tone that down. I've got them super bright here, and I'm just going to pop that one aside to dry. Shit, where? Okay, hang on. Over there. Um but while they're drying, I'll just quickly show you. So what I mean by I've got the control over how, how bright they are. So if I've got this fuchsia here, that is super duper bright on there, which is amazing. But the more water I add to it, I can tone it right back to be a beautiful pale shade. And that is, that's what I love. So... As that dries, I can then build on it and make the colour more intense. And I can blend colours together, that's fine. But what I do love is that I've got full control. So um, I can build on this colour where I like. I can mix it with that other pink and create a new colour, moving it around, and, and do exactly the same thing. I can build it down, I can take it lighter. Um, just with a wet paintbrush, I can make it a lot lighter and give it a lot more depth. So that is what is amazing about this particular product. And because it's a powder, I can mix it with anything. So I can mix it with um, modelling paste. I can mix it with... I'm just going to get this water out of the way before I spill it. Um, I can mix it with gesso. I can mix it with white paint. I can mix it with absolutely anything. So I've got full control over how I, you know, over the colour that I want to create. So now I do need to dry this off because I'm going to be cutting it in a moment with a knife. 
So I need to make sure that it doesn't tear. But I love how vibrant these colors are. They look so very cool. So now you get to watch paint dry because that's totally what you want to be doing on a Saturday morning. Um, it's still morning here. It's what, 10 to 11. So um, a couple of uh, hours left or an hour or so left of, of the morning before we slip into this afternoon. Um, so while I'm doing this, I'll just give you a bit of a, a rundown on some other things that have been happy, happening with Natalie May scrapbooking. Um, so most of you may 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 not have heard I have released my own range of stamps designed and manufactured here in Adelaide designed by me manufactured by me so I'm not bringing them out under another name at all they are all my own um, designs they are handmade handmade hand drawn some of them are, and then I have some that I have um, managed to some like some simple designs as well that I have created, um, and they're all based on things that I've been using over the years. Where the designs that I've loved, but they've been discontinued. Um, designs that are stamps that I've used over the years and then gone oh I would like it if it had this or oh, I want to add that to it so I'm not planning on world domination on creating stamps and stencils and whatnot that is not my thing I just wanted to put something out under my own name and be really super proud of that the, st uh, the stamps and stencils are not on special this weekend because they are at the very possible lowest price that I can offer them to you at. So um, I have had a couple of people asking, why aren't they on special? Why? Because I work too bloody hard to discount them. That is why. Um, all right, that's almost dry. Let's slide that there. And this last one is still quite wet, so I'm just going to give it a quick... Right, there we go. Um, so some of the other things I've got on special this weekend. So stamps and stencils are 15% off. So I can see here in front of me, I've got paper rose stamps on special. Um, all their newest designs as well as um, I've got their latest dies as well that were only released yesterday. Um, I may or may not have got a hold of those early, so they're also um, available. Um, I've got Carabelle Studio, or Carabelle Designs, Avery L Stamps, uh, they're 15% off. Plenty of Lawn Fawn and Uniquely Creative are also 15% off. So there's plenty of things around that are 15% off. So I mentioned earlier, um, alcohol inks. Um, they've taken a little bit of a hit over the last couple of days, but they're still on special, including Yupo paper. That's also on special. Um, what else can I see? So with all the Lindy's products as well. So the Magical Shakers. These, these sets here that I'm using, they're on special. So there's lots of stuff. You just need to jump up online and have a bit of a squeeze. Um, you'll find a tab up the side called Show Specials. Everything's on special that's um, in that tab. So uh, I did get a brand. I was expecting a delivery from America yesterday. They delivered one of two parcels. One parcel had all the really good stuff in it, including all of the new Dina Wakeley gloss sprays in the new colors. Um, that's the parcel that didn't arrive. You know what? Because that's that's the thing. Um, but the parcel that did arrive is a top up of art journals. Uh, the Dilutions art journals are all back in stock as well. All right, thank you for your patience while you're watching paint dry. And I've just topped up my order of Tim Holtz glass mats. Um, they have been on back order and they are on their way as well. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to cut these up. So I'm going to start with using 
my scissors and just separate my colours like so. Oh yeah, that's looking reasonably dry. Um, these are Tim Holtz scissors. Love the heck out of these. Um, I've got some of those on the shelf as well. And these are the best scissors for cutting uh, the red rubber stamps as well. So if you do purchase one of my new designs, you do need to uh, cut the red rubber. So I do recommend using the Tim Holtz scissors for that. All right, so let's get into this. Let's stop waffling on here. Cut. 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 All right. Morning, Tony. Nice of you to join us. Alrighty, so I'm going to pop these bits aside here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my craft knife, which is this guy here. Um, these are my favourite knives. I've been using these for as long as I can remember. I think there's one in every room in the house. I've got three sitting here on my desk in front of me. Um, I originally found these in at the printers where I used to work years and years ago and this, they use them there. So um, I do have these in stock. They have got a slide up knife. And the best thing about it is, whoops, um, that if I need to, it's got a snap off blade. So I take the back off it, put it in the slot and just snap it off. And then I've got a nice, clean, sharp blade and I didn't have to slice my hand open to do it. So what I want to do now is I want to freehand cut in a squiggle like that. And what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be layering these up on my page. So the glass mat's great because it's glass so you can cut on it um, like that. Oh, didn't push down hard enough that time. Now, um, <laughs> doing this sort of technique is nothing more than just getting it done. I don't overthink it. I just cut. I don't need it to be perfect. Whoops. I want all of my squiggles to be uneven. I don't want them all to be absolutely... Um, symmetrical or anything like that because I'm going to be layering them all up on my page. So just like that and then I need to cut um, like that, cut that one off and I will do another. So it's just a little wriggle of the wrist to cut those off like that, like that, like that. So yes, you can do this with scissors. I do know that there are some fancy tools around that you can do this with, but this is what works for me, is I have no qualms using my knife. So this is a little technique as well, doing this um, sort of design in a scrapbook page is going to, and I didn't cut down hard enough, it's going to look good. Um, if you were to do this in your art journal, this would look great. If you were to do this on a card front, this would look great. Oh, God, I made that hard, didn't I? Um, no, I'll just leave that one for now. I reckon I'm on the right track here. Beautiful. Straight down like that. 
Um, we've had a little spillage, so I'm just gonna, they stained it, I can't get rid of it, just gotta commit to it. Right, is anybody still there? Everybody's very quiet. Um, is it easy to cut? Yeah, look, you, if you've got one of those self-healing mats, that would probably work a lot better. Um, but the glass mat works fine for me. So I have no qualms about doing it on the glass mat. Um, and no, look, I watch my fingers. Yeah, I'm used to cutting on this, but it, I'm well, cutting with the knife. It's like my, my go-to tool. So definitely something that I'm used to using. I wasn't planning on cutting myself there. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to lay them all up on here. So to do that, I need to get my double-sided tape. So this is just a 12 by 12 Kazercraft white card. And I'm going to run a strip down there. This tape tears beautifully, but this again is where I use my knife and I just tear it up like that. And like that. And I'm gonna put a piece through here and a piece through here. But I'm only gonna expose um, you have a mesh glove, Maggie. Um, look, I'm pretty confident with a craft knife. I don't need a, um, I don't find the need for a, a glove, I can tell you. So, all right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work from the bottom up. So what order do I put my strips in is the next thing. Well, it's completely up to you. I know that I'm going to put all my purples together. So it's going to go like that, like that like that. I think I might put the red, which looks red here, this beautiful rose at the bottom because that goes in quite nicely. Um, I then want to go from purple to probably the, the stormy sky blue wants to go next, like that and like that. And then I'm going to do the greens next. So that one's go with that one. Green, green. Oh, I've got way too many strips here, but, you know. I have options. And then the green will go at the top. So that is how I'm going to lay them up on my page. So I'm going to put them aside in little groups so that I have options when it comes to laying them down. Uh, I find it better when I'm doing this to have more strips than I need. And I've got some variation that way. And I can kind of work out exactly what sort of colours I can go with. Um, so, back to my 12 by 12. I've got one side here exposed with tape. So, I'm going to put this one on the bottom. Because it's got the sharp, uh, sorry, the sharp, what's that called? Straight edge. You know, this would work so much better. Oh, put my glasses on and then I'm just going to start with layering it on like so then I'm going to tuck in my next one like that and I think I actually want another one here so I'm going to take this with scissors up the middle I'm going to slide that. Oh, I don't like that one because it's got the dot on it. I'm going to slide that in there. So when I'm putting them on, I just don't want to see any of this straight line. So like that, like that, tucking them all in. Okay, would this work better if I started at the top and worked my way down? Yeah, you know what? If we would. Why didn't anybody else mention that? 
gosh. I desperately need another coffee. Far out. All right, let's flip it. Let's flip it. Flip, flip, flip. Flip, flip. All right. Clearly, I'm not awake. Let's go here. So, I'm going to need a flat one for the top. Like so. Radio. Here we go. Now I'm getting somewhere. Yeah. All right. Professional crafter. Look at that. All right. That one and that one next. And we'll go with four. Let's go with one, two, three, four. And then I'm going to start with this lovely green. So, oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. One, two. And I'm not pushing them down hard. And you can see why I haven't exposed this tape here so that I have got room to move. I've got room to shuffle around if I need to. Um, I've got room to make adjustments, slide stuff in if I have to. Oh, yeah, baby. Does anybody else do that when they surprise themselves when it starts to look good? Oh, good morning, Giovanna. Um... Yeah, thank you. You should have said because, um, yeah, clearly my brain's not working. Um, one, two, three, four. Is that colour right? Did I miss one? No. I need another blue. I need another blue. Oh, here we go. No, no. Oh, yeah, it is that colour. Now let's whack that in there and now I've got these babies so we've got this gorgeous one here so this would work with beautiful browns it will work with um, you know more vintagey tones so there's lots and lots of I mean this is like super bright but come on it stands out and it looks gorgeous but you can do this with anything. So you could just do this with patterned paper. You could do this with uh, like with different patterned papers. Um, you can do this with all sorts of really like lots of different products will work. There's a what I know. I'm going to go back in there, doll. But thank you for bringing that up, G. I really appreciate your um, input this morning. Bless your cotton socks. Um, <laughs> ladies, and I am talking to G like that because she is a friend. And she is a very fabulous creative. Okay, so I've got a gap. And um, what I want to do with that gap is I want to fill that gap or I can stick my photo there. But I have the advantage of going, oh, that one will work. So I'm going to whack that in there. So I'm going to go snip. Oh, okay, so you're just showing off now if you've had your coffee, love. I'm going to make sure that's all totally stuck down because I'm pretty happy with that positioning wise. Oh, I missed a bit. I'm going to run a strip across the bottom here. Actually, I need some thinner tape. I don't need this big boy. That's better. Um, Double-sided tape, tear it, don't stuff up your scissors, or like I was doing before with my craft knife, um, you can slice it off that way. But yeah, double-sided tape. The stuff that I sell here in the shop is only Australian stuff. I don't like the cheap shit from China. Oh, support Australian people. You know how it goes. 
Um, all right. Whack that on there. Whack that on there. Happy days. Okay. So, I think that before I do anything else, I'm going to take off some of this tape that I've got in here. So, I'm going to flip it. I'm going to make this look harder than it is. Because, you know... Jessica, May, are you watching? Darling, can you make mummy a coffee? She's not watching. All right, so now in underneath here, I've exposed the tape and I'm just going to pull it out. Pull off that strip. And everything's going to stick down good. And nice and light. I'm not pushing it down too much. Good morning, Jen. How are you, my love? Um, and I'm going to do the same thing with this next strip that I stuck down earlier. And I'm just pulling it up. Pull it out. few people watching this morning obviously everybody's sitting down with their cuppa and got a little bit of time on their hands um, okay so I know I've got a gap there and that's good because I haven't squished it down so I know that I can just whack it in whack it in technical term whack in a oh wet weather is it a bit crap where you are Jen Fill a gap there. I've got another gap there I can see. Good morning, Heather. Um, and I want to whack one in there. But I'm being make, I'm making sure I'm not leaving that straight. Because if I was to stick that in under there, it would end up with this bit that sticks up. So I don't want that. I just want really this arch. So I'm being a little particular about what... Whoops about what goes in there and then it becomes a little lump and I know my photo is going to go here so I'm not actually that, that fussed about it and I still missed a gap come on G you're supposed to be helping me out here woman <sighs> all right slide and I'm at the you know what stuff it let's just squish it down phase and I'm going to expose the tape on this end lift Pull, stick. Don't think about it too much. Life is too short to worry about the tiny details. I was just having a conversation with my lovely friend Vicky this morning about how life is too short to worry about the tiny details, wasn't I, Vic? And your husband, having a little conversation about purchasing paint, we were. And how much we need it and how much we don't need it. Nobody wants that sort of negativity in their life, do they? No, nobody wants to be questioned about their purchases. Just buy the things. Make yourself happy. Alrighty. So, where are we at? It's looking pretty great. Let me see if I stand up. Oh, yeah, baby. So the edge is a little rough, but, and I've got too much length at the top and I've got way too much length at the bottom. So if I could find my paper trimmer, oh, I can see it. All right. Just, just pause, pause, hold that thought. I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Got my big boy guillotine out. Okay, so I want to flip it and I want to cut it. That just doesn't fit, does it? Bam. Because everyone loves a barcode strip on a freaking cardstock, don't they? Is that shit anybody else or just me? Sorry, I just realised there's too many people watching and I shouldn't swear. Um. Right. Okay, so 
there we go. I have planted the foundation for my page. Now I've just got to put the pretty things on it. Um, I don't actually have too many strips left over. That actually went quite well. Um, so before, when I do finish this off camera, I'm actually just going to trim off this side here and this side here and mount it on another piece of white for a pop. Um, <laughs> um, and let's get a photo on here. So I've got a couple of photos here of Jess that I have dug out of the archives. I'm one of these people who, I don't scrapbook every event in my life. I scrapbook my favorite photographs because they are the photographs that have meaning to me. Scrapbooking to me is about, yeah, memory keeping and recording the memories that go, that, that, that bring emotion when I see a photograph. So I've got two photos here. I've got a plain black and white. That's, they've got glitter on them. At what point do I have glitter in here? That's ridiculous. So I've got a plain black and white, which looks great. I've also got this one here that has got a bit of green in the background and Jess has got a bit of pink in her hair. I actually quite like that one on there, so I'm gonna use that. Uh, this week, I got a delivery from 49 and Market in. Their, brand, their new paper collections as well as the ephemera stacks and the stitched frames and the collage stacks. I really, really like these because they give you, I don't know if you can see because of the glare, but hang on, let me turn this down. They give you an example of what how, how you can build your stacks on the back. And I, I really think that's kind of cool. So you've got that idea there for you. Um, so, oh shit. So what we're gonna do is I'm going to open one of these. And these stitch frames have actually been machine stitched. Impressive. So uh, these sell for $12.50. Um, and they've got a heap in there. So let's crack this baby open. Oh, look, and I can reuse the packaging. It's got a nice leaf on it. So I wanna do a little embellishing in and around, and I've chosen this stack. They do it in like a lilac, and also um, there's lilac, there's a blue, there's a, a sage, um, a, a coral color, which is awesome, but I wanted this one because the color's similar to my photograph. Uh, yeah, 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 that could work. Oh, look, see, they're gorgeous. I haven't even opened these until now. I was really hoping that on camera this would work well. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ooh, that's cool. If I put that on, though, there's too much pattern going on, so I need something relatively plain, and that's what my thinking is here. I don't want to go over the top. I just want something relatively plain and mild, mild perhaps I don't mind a little ticket yeah they, these are really pretty Janet I think that they have plenty of poten potential just the fact that they're these little die cut shapes um, and they're all different too so oh there's some interesting prints on there isn't there Gi Giovanna are you still on screen here can I see are you watching still love are there any fruits there, Giovanna, that look familiar to you? I think there might be. Um, okay. I'm going to pop those aside um, and try not to spread them all over my desk. And let's check out these frames. Let's crack open these babies. Six individually sewn frames, assorted sizes. And, yeah, they're actually stitched. Oh, hello, Giovanna. Um, okay, so yeah, they're actually stitched, so they could work too, but do I want to save that? Anyway, stop thinking about it. All right, let's put this baby together. So, putting that aside, the way that I create a scrapbook page is I always start with my photo. If I don't have a photo, I have a photo mat. I don't uh, you got to make sure that, you know, scrapbooking is about your photographs, so you've got to make sure that there is something there for you to um, work with, a base. Um, instead of using foam tape, I've got a piece of cardboard here. 
um, because I'm lazy and I can't find my foam tape and I have an excess of cardboard at the moment. Um, double sided tape, straight off there. And I'm gonna stick that on the back of my matted photograph. And I know that my photo is gonna go smack bang in the middle. So building up a stack, I wanna go Oh, I don't know, something like this. I don't want to cover up too much of my background, so I'm going to do this and, yep, that works for me. Oh, I've got that whole need to stand up thing going on here. Hang on. Right, so that's stuck down there. Yeah, that works. Okay, let's get some glue. Okay, so the glue that I'm using this weekend, oh, I use my stubby holder to keep my glue standing upside down in. Um, I'm using the Tombow Multi Glue. I've got these on special as well. So they're like, I don't know, seven bucks or something. Super inexpensive. That little bit goes a long way. I don't want to go out too far. That works. Don't overthink it, people. It's just paper. Yep. That works. Some glue on there. Glue it like you mean it. Is that straight? Yeah, straight enough. No, it's not. Now it is. Um, right, squish that baby on there. Only because I've got stuff all over my hands, that's why I did that. And from here, I didn't tape edge to edge. I want to be able to jam stuff in the sides and I want to be able to embellish in the sides. So I've got this little guy here. I'm going to pop that there. Pop that there. Bit more glue. to be balanced I need another zigzaggy bit here so I can't use that one but I can use the other one that's in the pack man I've been going at this for ages sorry guys I'm taking up half your day here I'm sure you've all got better things to do because I didn't stick edge to edge, I have the ability to be able to tuck and slide. I'm going to pop a ticket in. I do like these little tickets. Don't need the whole ticket, so I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to glue. Yeah, that works for me. Let's whack that up there. Let's whack that there. Fill that gap. Um, I'm going to whack that up there. Yeah, it's good. And I'm kind of liking where this is going. Um, so if I had, if I was looking at those frames, yeah, see, nah, nah, nah. All right, lots of other cool things in this pack that I could have quite easily gone with. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, yeah, yeah. Nah, okay, stop, Natalie. All right, so what's going to happen is I'm going to trim this off to finish it off. Trim off these little um, bits on the side. I'm going to mat it. I'm going to stick a title on. I need to go through my stash of alphas because, um, like, I've got a million and twelve of them. But 
I'm going to pop a, a title down here, pop some journaling on and finish that off. Um, so just to go over what I have done here, for those of you who are coming in on the end, this little layout is using the Flat Magicals from Lindy's Gang. They are the Mountain Meadows set, Wild, Wild Rouge, Foxglove Fuchsia, Stormy Sky, uh, Evergreen Emerald and Mountain Meadow Green. So I have used a paintbrush to paint those onto my flat cardstock. Um, I've used my craft knife, um, my Ulfa knife and just freehand cut those. Stuck it down with some double sided tape onto a flat piece of cardstock. And then used the 49 and Market. Oh, and it just went on the floor. The new 49 and Market um, collage stacks and ephemera stacks to build up my photograph. Um, so I will put a photograph of the finished project up online in about 10 minutes once I finish that off. Um, so jump online to nataliemay.com.au um, any orders that happen this weekend will go in the draw to win a um, some of my new stamps and bits and pieces so i will send those out i will do a live facebook on this week um special of the day dina wakeley paints and dilutions paints um have a fantastic day people wash your hands kiss your kids Thanks for tuning in and I will be back at 2pm Australian Eastern Standard Time to make something else pretty. Um, no idea what yet. Might do an art journal page. We'll cross that hurdle when we get to it. Um, catch you later.